Hi, I'm Glenn. This is ProTalk TV. There are tons of different ways to light your subject. You've got natural lighting, you've got camera flash, studio lights, etc. Just to name a few. Today I've got something pretty cool. It's called the Ring 48 and it attaches to the front of your lens. Just like so. And from here, there's so many different applications that you can use this for. There are other ring lights in the market that utilize either your camera's pop-up flash or an external flash. But the Ring 48 is self-contained and produces continuous light with 48 LEDs. It's quick to set up and involves securing the adapter ring included in the pack onto the filter thread of your lens. Make sure you check the filter thread size of your lens before purchasing this product because there are six specific sizes the ring adapters are made for. If you're not sure, ask the guys at ProTog and they'll be happy to help you out. The power supply takes two AA alkaline batteries and can also be powered with a 3 volt direct current. Power output of the light is selectable to full power or half power. I thought I'd give it a go on a moving target. Here's what I got. Because the ring light is attached to the front of the lens, it gives similar results to a pop-up flash where the lighting is quite flat. But with the ring light, I found that shadows in the face is not as harsh as a pop-up flash. This product produces a color temperature of around 5500 to 6500 Kelvin, which is around the flash or high noon daylight type of color temperature. Now since its effective distance is relatively close to the lens, I thought I'd give it a shot with macro photography. When I was shooting it was a cloudy and overcast day so that meant the light was quite even. So I was pretty lucky with the outdoor lighting conditions. If it had been a sunny day, um, I reckon it would have produced harsh shadows on the, on the subject. And where the ring light would have come into play is that in that situation, uh, it would fill in those shadows. So there you have it, that's the Ring 48. So if you're a macro photographer, you'll definitely find this cool little gizmo useful. That was it for today. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.